Our equipment is on the surface of the moon. Congratulations, I am team. Elation in mission control as America returned to the moon for the first time in more than half a century. Houston, Odysseus has found his new home. A simulation is our best guess for now on how the Odysseus spacecraft made it down, overcoming a glitch with its navigation systems to find a safe landing site. But even after touchdown, there were anxious moments while mission control tried to establish communications. There was just a faint signal. I know this was a nail biter, but we are transmitting and welcome to the moon. But this is the first landing by a private company and the start of a new chapter in lunar exploration. Today, for the first time in more than a half century, the U.S. has returned to the moon. Today, for the first time in the history of humanity, a commercial company, an American company, launched and led the voyage up there. This is Odysseus. It's about the same size as a phone box. It's touched down in the Malapert A crater, 200 miles from the unexplored South Pole, a hazardous region of boulders and cliffs. But it's worth the risk. Craters at the pole are deep in shade, with temperatures down to minus 230 degrees. It's believed they contain huge quantities of ice. We have liftoff, 11.22 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Apollo 17 was the last human mission to the moon in 1972. NASA wants astronauts to return, this time for longer, and it's only possible with water. Not just to drink, but to make oxygen and even rocket fuel. Congratulations to everyone involved in this great and daring quest at Intuitive Machines, SpaceX, and right here at NASA. What a triumph. Odysseus has taken the moon. Odysseus, Odysseus is the first of several spacecraft due to head to the moon this year, all to the South Pole, all looking for water. And proving that it's possible to land at the South Pole with all its dangers is a game changer. Thomas Moore, Sky News.